Uh, our next speaker, I'm sorry, is it John Quarterman? Okay. Please come forward and state your name and address, please. This is a trashy job. John, you must have been right against the, the deadline. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Quarterman, 6565 uh, Quarterman Road. And. <clears throat> I'm in the embarrassing position of having to praise three different people. First, I'd like to praise Rob Cumbus at Public Works for sending somebody out to pick up the multiple bags of trash and uh, half a dozen old computer monitors that were dumped on Hambrick and Quarterman Road. So it's great that, uh, you know, Code Enforcement called them and Public Works sent somebody out and picked them up. Of course, on the other hand, the county promised in the Valdosta Daily Times back when this big change that the former commissioner was referring to occurred, they promised the county that this would not happen, that there would not be increased dumping. We used to have a little bit of dumping. We did not have anything like that. So uh, also, I was listening to these numbers, 40% increase by ADS. Hmm, that's very interesting, because back when the bids came in on that exclusive franchise, both Veolia and ADS bid. ADS's bid was about 40% more than Veolia's bid. Veolia's bid that the county accepted and then let ADS buy Veolia before they made the deal with ADS. So I guess it's surprising that they've now raised their rates by 40%. And if you multiply that out to an annual rate, it seems to come to more than $200 a year, which is more than twice what the cards for the collection sites cost. They were $100 a year. And we were told by the county also in the Valdosta Daily Times and in these meetings that the shortfall was maybe 50% for running those collection centers. Well, one solution to all this would be go back to the collection centers and charge $150 a year, problem solved. And anybody who wants to contract ADS or DS, Deep South Sanitation could still do it. Anyway, I would like to, you know, so that's the second thing I have to praise the former commissioner for mentioning some of that. And the third thing, I stood up to do this. This is what I wrote on the forum, so I got to do it. I would like to commend and thank the county engineer, Mike Fletcher, for preserving the canopy on Boring Pond Road, because I like those canopies. At least two people sitting here, the former commissioner and one of the current commissioners who remembered how all that started. Oh, that, yes, and it's good to see that precedent still being pursued, so thanks to the county engineer. Okay, that's all of our citizens. Is there any other 